Hey guys, we're here live on uh, No Budget Music Entertainment, mb3media.com, and YouTube later uh, with Dead Joe and David from Dead. What's up? What up? Here in, where are we at? Noblesville, Noblesville Indiana. Noblesville. Noblesville. Beautiful. Sure I was making Noblesville. sure they knew. Noblesville. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is good. Uh, the more nice I say day. it, the more I won't forget it on yeah. stage yeah. later. So it's, I gotta beat it, beat it in my head. I hear you. Don't say Indianapolis. They might get offended. Oh, yeah. No, Even though I know we're how like it is. five minutes outside of Indianapolis. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know how it is. I might just generalize. Is that like Glendale and Phoenix? <laughs> yeah, like if someone, it doesn't offend me when someone says like yeah. Mesa or Phoenix or Tim. I don't care. Yeah, I don't Tim care if they yeah. say Chicago say or Arizona. Arizona. They don't say, want say Arizona. Yeah. That's yeah. what I don't know. I know that you're in my city. It doesn't matter if you know it. Yeah, 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 exactly. As long as you're playing your music, man, it's all good. All right, so Misanthrope released last Friday, just dropped. Shit has not stopped. Have you guys yeah. even had it? I mean, the blowback. I mean, you guys haven't even had time to relax and enjoy it yet, have you? No. Been on the no, road really straight. Very, yeah, yeah. Very busy. Uh, keeping us busy, keeping ourselves yeah. busy. That's the point of it. That's what we yeah, want to do. Yeah. That's the life now, man. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's awesome. We get like, we get <laughs> yeah, like crazy, like fucking awesome reviews. Yeah, the reviews are oh, yeah. really good. Yeah, yeah so, no yeah. doubt. Yeah, yeah. We listen to it on the way up, man. Love it. Yeah, I mean, it's you. like mosh pit, mosh pit, mosh pit, little ballad. Right. Mosh pit, mosh pit, mosh pit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's crazy, man. I, I love it. I mean, okay, I, it's cool. like, I mean. Thank you. Yeah, I mean. Um, so, a lot of the fans misanthrope, meaning, I know what it means. I had to look it up. Right. That's, that's <laughs> so, yeah. it, it follows the album. Right, yes. I mean, in my opinion, I mean, it's pretty much hate, 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 hate. I like to call it angry white boy music. Um, <laughs> I mean, I love it. Okay, yeah, don't yeah, lie. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I shouldn't have thrown the white boy in there, but you can call it what you want. <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, that, I mean, that's one meaning. I mean, it's, I know this has just dropped. You guys just went through all this uh, video for anti everything. Yeah. Um, is this going to be a theme with the band as far as misanthrope, the meaning of it, hatred for humankind, blah blah blah? Should are you guys going to try to follow that with each album? Yeah, I, I don't think. We're gonna like consciously do that. Um, yeah. I think that's just where the writing came from this, this time right. around. Um, I think that's gonna be something I'm, I don't see myself not being disappointed in the human race anytime soon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm probably always yeah. right about that yeah. a little bit. Yeah. A lot of it's being disappointed in myself is, is part of that human race too, and yeah. wanting to be a better person as well. So um, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's not yeah. like a thing. It's not like a yeah. It's okay. not like we a thing. don't consciously do it. I guess I don't see us again. Like I don't see it like being a thing that we're not gonna be thinking about yeah. the next yeah. CD, but so it was like yeah. wrote the songs came up with the title and then did yeah. the, the album the title was afterward yeah we okay. step back yeah. and look at the Something body of there. work and the songs that we chose and um, it felt like it summed it up and, yeah, yeah. Like it summed up and we wanted to put it in that um, kind of like dictionary you know what do you call it uh, oh phonetic spelling yeah, phonetic spelling. yeah. 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 so it almost make people like like we automatically be like I want to look this up you know see what this, yeah. like, the whole vibe is if yeah. you a word that people weren't going to be like super familiar with yeah but you know enough to make people looked, want to check it out. It looks really fucking. It cool. sounded good. Yeah, oh, yeah. I loved like the actual like the the view of the definition. If we could have hit, oh, yeah. fit the whole definition we tried to the cover, that. We tried I would have done that. that. Yeah. Just look that good. Sounded nice. Yeah. So, so uh, all four of you, of course, have music backgrounds. Other bands done this and that. Getting together. How did Dead come about? How did the whole concept of the lenses, the Dead concept? I mean, oh yeah. Well, that's uh, the, the whole thing is over over years, over time. But um, I think. Um, like originally it was just like we were sitting down having Starbucks and we we're talking yeah. about music and we we're like why you know why doesn't this band that is dead why doesn't that band exist this is before it existed so we just wanted to make something like we were missing we were missing that that band you yeah. know um, so we started trying to make it just making music for fun honestly yeah, yeah. yeah. And we were just, just gonna just play like bars and be heavy and we weren't gonna like really show it to anybody um, we were just gonna have fun with it, and then um, as it as it, as it so went, we sent it to some people, and then they sent it to people, and just caught it has to stop. Blew up, yeah. Yeah. like punching the nuts with a speed bag, man. It oh, has yeah. to stop. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm yeah. telling you, man, it's just blowing up. All I hear is dead, 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 dead. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's an honor to know you guys, man. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, our producer said that to us when we were working on the music. He's like, it's like you grab someone by the collar and you and just fucking out. Yeah. beat him to death. He's okay. like. What do you do that for? And I was like, it's not, it's not on accident. It's on purpose. <laughs> yeah, exactly. like, yeah. we, we like that. We like the bands do that. You know, talk, yeah. about, talk about Pantera. Talk about Slipknot. Talk about you know, a lot of the bands. System of Down, Warren. A lot of the bands that we were talking about that we weren't hearing that vibe anymore. Those bands did that to us. Yeah. We wanted to do that. 
Well, it still does that to me. Oh, Every yeah, dude. Yeah, it's still so Relentless heavy. Relentless so from start to finish. Yeah. So what's awesome. that like? You guys hang out and... Yeah, Check them out every single night. Oh, I mean, yeah. every night. Every yeah. night yeah. People will ask me, they're like, do you get bored of watching corn? Hell no. no. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't no. even respond to that. I would no. just walk away. We've seen it so many times, yeah. and, we, oh, yeah. and everybody's like, are you saying them again? Yeah. 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 I'm wearing like, my, my show, show, yeah. finish line, this peachy shirt. I had to bring it out. Yeah. So, the Rise Above Fest, um, a lot of people know Sean Morgan from Caesar. Um, organized organized it for uh, uh, suicide awareness and stuff. Coming off that, you guys just played that. Yeah. What was that last week? Yeah, the week Bang before that. Bang. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. We're playing with Sean a lot, actually. Yeah, because it's yeah. super rad. So yeah. fun, man. Yeah. So, what does it mean as far as suicide awareness? We all, everybody's aware of what happened with yeah. Chris Cornell, Chester, of course. Uh, what does that mean for you guys to play that? As far as you know, you guys having the voice being there, you know, for that cause. Right. Um, yeah, it's. I mean. It's a subject that, that's like really near and near. It's something that's affected my family for sure before. Um, and they, you know, everybody has their their shit and their demons, you know. Um, so <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll get really serious when I talk about it. So I don't even know what I want to. Yeah. <laughs> you can't. But I, I mean, I apologize, you know, man. No, no, no. Right. Not, no, right. it's not even a thing, but I just don't want to talk for 20 minutes about it. So okay. Yeah. I, I, I think it's good playing at a festival that has such like a bigger cause other than just like, let's get together and party. Yeah. But still has like the same impact of it. A normal festival if that makes sense. Okay, Sometimes yeah. the awareness stuff isn't as always as big. Yeah. That one's huge. Oh yeah. And everybody actually knows what they're there for, so it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like somber for a little while and then Yeah. 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 We were I mean the Chester thing, man, we we actually listened to Meteora that morning before we heard of like we drove we drove in, we got there like nine yeah. or something in the morning to the venue. We were jamming Lincoln Park that morning, like the whole album we got in there, we were just like on our phones and all of a sudden it's just like saw it on our phones. And Chester's from Arizona too. Yeah. They went to school, went to school, went to school, high school, and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, a band that was around, it felt like they were so close to our to our scene, to our community. Everybody in Arizona knows, that someone knows Chester, you know, that you know, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and then just the, someone, you know, we listened to them so much growing up and whatnot. Just, I would have never expected that for his band yeah. to see it. Just, yeah. It's just it sad, crazy, man. you know, but I, I know that the, the dark stuff is dark, and I understand, I mean, I get it, but, you know, it, it sucks. We all need to be cognitive and aware of what our brains are doing because they don't, they don't want us to the ground. All right, uh, Fred Durst, real quick, I know you guys get asked this a lot. Yeah. Uh, produced, directed everything, anti everything, video? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. you're going to work with them again, I yeah. hear? Yeah, in a uh, couple weeks, so we're yeah. out to LA. We're doing okay. the enemy. Yeah, video okay, yeah, I was going to say, the new single is out now, everybody knows that, right. so we can right. talk about yeah. it. All right. <laughs> so, uh, with the concept as far as the video, like I've, I've seen interviews myself with you guys talking about talking about it, so I know. But um, going into a video, how does that work for us that don't understand it? Does the director producer already have something in mind and say, "Hey, this is what we're doing"? Yeah. You guys say, "Yeah," or I think it's both people involved with listening to the song and then like kind of start to feel out what they're seeing when they hear the song. You close your eyes, like what colors do you see? Is there any background scenery that comes up? Like you know, like is there a theme to the song? That I think we both do that, like the band does that, he does that, and then we kind of have a, a group thread that like, you know, you just hash out ideas like, what are you seeing? Well, I'm thinking this, and I'm thinking that. It kind of starts that way. So, uh, you guys going to collaborate anything with Fred? Is he going to be on an album? We've, coming uh, we've, talked, about, we've <laughs> talked about writing. Yeah. Um, I'll write with I know he's, he's good friends yeah. with Feldy too, so maybe all of us will be in the oh, studio. Yeah. And, yeah. 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 Yeah, you never know. So we heard that here first, right? Yeah. yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, well, I can neither confirm nor deny it, but yeah, yeah right. we, we definitely have to discuss it. Yeah, we yeah. would. For yeah. sure. All right, so right now, you guys are, of course, coming off a lot of festivals. We ran into each other at Rock on the Range, of course. The football story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Classic. A lot of my friends know that, Okay. by the way. That's awesome. So um, we were actually talking. We saw you guys in the media tent, but we had interviews lined up already with a yeah. buddy of ours, so we were uh, going through a lot of stuff. Didn't get to talk, but... We did get to talk, so, yeah, yeah. so appreciate yeah. that. Um, so, with Misanthrope going the way it has, uh, yeah, Rock on the Range, you guys had, what, Anti-Everything and FMFY maybe out? That you was, heard, yeah, and that was it. Yeah. And the crowd was nuts. I, did, I, yeah. saw, I saw a, uh, a video later on YouTube, somebody yeah. had reported yeah. it. Man. No, it was dope. That's, yeah, I yeah, mean, now that the album... shows of the summer. Yeah, now that the album's dropped, though, I mean, yeah, no, it's I mean, cool. It, I mean, we're seeing it. We're seeing it pick up a lot. Um, 
like to see some people know a little bit the more well-rounded you know version of the band now because people would hit us up and be like do you guys sound like anti everything or do you sound like fmf or what do you sound and you know we're like we sound like a bunch of different shit yeah, yeah, so yeah. Like, yeah it's cool for them to know the spectrum of everything that that we can do you know so it's yeah these shows people have been sing awesome. along to the lyrics that aren't singles is really fun too so from stage they'll be yeah. singing the words to songs and like yeah, we only had a couple of days to memorize oh, yeah. that. Yeah. That's sick. It was crazy. Yeah, definitely. So that's cool. Toronto. They were, they were doing really yeah. well up there. Toronto's yeah. really good. Yeah. So. That's cool. So, um, when can we expect something new? I mean, when have you guys even thought about writing? I know, yeah. like I said, it's just been a whirlwind, I know. No, we think about writing all the time. Just for yeah. fun, though. Like, that's part of the thing that I don't want to lose. Right. We're not going to write because it's a business. Like, the, the music has to come from a place where you want to, like, yo, let's just write because we enjoy this. So we write constantly, not because we feel like we're under the gun, but it's fun. And then just see what you get. And then when, you, when it's time for an album, you've got a back stock of songs, and then you can go through that and then write new ones at the time and just see what becomes your favorites, pretty much. Yeah. 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 Keep it uh, organic. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so September 30th, Louder Than Life. Yeah. You're coming to our state again. <laughs> yeah. Um, so... As far as like supporting acts for Serenity of Summer with Corn, what I mean, what do you do? You see a difference already in between doing like what is this a four four act uh, to a festival? Five actually. Yeah, yeah. Skill for tonight. tonight. Okay, yeah, skill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For tonight. For, um, um, the difference between doing five to just, uh, to a festival. Yeah, just like a tour, like you're doing now, and yeah. then I mean, I know sometimes you yeah. go in between because you guys got the Rise Above Fest going, and then. Uh, right. You guys are in Colorado, Colorado next week, or when's that? Elevation. Elevation? Uh, yeah. no, 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 it's next week. Couple it's weeks. Like September yeah. or something. Yeah. 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 So it's after this. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So as far as the difference, I mean, I guess there's no difference. You guys get out of the get out of the tour bus and yeah. hit the um, stage and do your yeah, thing. Yeah, honestly, it's really not like that different, other than just you never know like who's going to be out there watching. Yeah. I guess you know like what band's playing at the same time as you, or if you're like you know whatever. It's kind of a luck of the draw. Like sometimes we end up being the only band playing at the time, which is great. Yeah. And sometimes you're playing at the same time that like. You know, styles, yeah, turn style or whatever. Turn, uh, rock the range. Yeah, so it's just different, but um, I think they're both awesome for their own thing. I like, I still enjoy playing to like, you know, not the biggest crowds in the world and then having to like win them over. Because then when everybody gets the head bobbing, oh, yeah. you know you're doing your job right. So right. it's kind of oh, fun yeah. still. And being on being on a tour like this though, it's cool that you see the same people every day. So we start growing down like the Stone Sour guys and the Corn guys. Yeah. Like having, you know, doing some, some tricks at the end of the day or just hanging out. Um, talk about music, talk about whatever. Like it's really cool. I mean, just all the people we look up to, and now we're like hanging out with them, and it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a dope, dope yeah. situation. For that part, I like the tour. Yeah, probably. and that's just, like, yeah. yeah, you're yellow with and everybody clever, every like, day. Uh, yeah, everybody. It's, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Cool. So uh, a lot of new music out this year. Stone Sour's dropped. Corn's yeah. got some new stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, was it? I mean, this is your debut album, but like I said, you guys have all been in music yeah. for how many years now together? I mean, right. not even together, Which is but um. Cool. Man, just to be in that, you know. I mean, anti everything's yeah. climbing. Uh, remember the enemy's going up. Right. I mean, I mean, what's that feel like? I mean, that's just. <laughs> I mean, I just. <laughs> it's, still, it's a little surreal still. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. uh, we don't see it every day. We see these shows every day. Like you know, like we don't check the charts, I guess, all the time. But yeah, we hear everybody talk about it. So that's that part's nice. But I don't want to lose my head in like yeah. checking the internet websites all the time. We just try to play the best show we can every day. And, uh, Someone will tell us where we're climbing on all that stuff. So it's Every kind of once nice. in a while we stop and we go, yeah, this is pretty cool, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, but, but we don't we don't want to feed it into ourselves too much to where right. we get complacent. Yeah. We're, we're very yeah, we're very sure. serious. We don't give ourselves too much credit. You know, honestly. the chart number doesn't help you load the trailer after this. Show, <laughs> so you know, what I mean? like you got you, know, you still got to so, like work. Yeah, 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 yeah sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that's awesome. Um, so misanthrope out now. Drop, yep. dropped last Everywhere. Friday, yep. not yesterday, last Friday. Yep. Um, everybody check them out. You guys got anything to say? Did anybody hit any questions? Losers. <laughs> <laughs> right. You guys so, out, man. I know. Yeah. Um, yeah, just go pick up the album, check it out, listen to it on Spotify, YouTube, however you want to digest it, whatever works. Um, tell your friends, follow us on our socials. Dead Official on Facebook, Dead Official on Instagram. We are dead on Twitter. Um, yeah. All that. Just come say what up. Be sure to check them out in Kentucky, September 30th, Louder Than Life Festival. We will be there. They will be there. Thanks, guys. Thank you.